I love whiteboarding, but adding backgrounds makes whiteboarding that much better. Let's have a look in the lower left-hand corner at the icon of the mountains in the background. This is our background management tool. Once the tool opens, you'll see that there are several icons on the bottom of this tool. The first one is a stick figure with their arms outstretched. These are the follow me images. These images are being pulled from either your Google Drive or your OneDrive. I'm going to scroll through here and see that I've added a bunch of different images to my Google Drive. The next tool is the paint palette, and this is the background color selection tool. There's an array of colors here for you, or you can click the plus button and manually select the color that you're looking for. Once you've selected the color and selecting OK, you can then add this color to the page or to all the pages in your file. Let's add a new page here and head back over to the background management tool where you can see that we have pre-installed backgrounds. There's a bunch of backgrounds here that you can scroll through and select for your background. The fourth icon is my favorite. These are the ViewSonic Originals. When I click on the ViewSonic Originals, it launches the embedded browser that takes me to a website where all of our backgrounds are located. I'm going to choose the topic Geography. Once I click on Geography, I can scroll through here to find the world map. I click on the world map, and then I can choose Full HD or 4K. I'm going to choose 4K. And then I have the option to add it to just this page. Happy whiteboarding!